Hey friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna talk about autopolyploids and allopolyploid. In the previous video, we talked about polyploidy. So polyploidy is when organism having more than two set of chromosomes. The condition is known as polyploidy. Polyploidy is further subdivided into two types, autopolyploidy and allopolyploidy. Here we will discuss these two types one by one. So let's get started. First of all, we will discuss about autopolyploid. Auto stands for self and polyploid once again same meaning organism with more than two set of chromosomes that is known as polyploid. So the autopolyploid condition results by the multiplication of the same genetic material. Let's say an organism is diploid in nature and the cell of the organism will undergo mitosis during the mitosis what happens a single daughter cell will divide into the two daughter cell sorry a single parental cell will divide into the two daughter cell means a diploid cell will give rise to the two diploid daughter cell so before mitosis replication of genetic material will take place after replication the cell will become tetraploid means genetic material of the cell will become double now the cell will undergo mitosis and during mitosis if you treat the cells with colchicine then colchicine will lead to the metaphase arrest in the cell cycle cell won't be able to exist through the metaphase so what will happen the cell will remain into the tetraploid state so this is the way autopolyploid conditions results right means replication of genetic material takes place and the cell does not undergo mitosis properly and autopolyploid conditions are result autopolyploids may be triploid tetraploid pentaploid higher the level of ploidy will lead to the higher size of the organism polyploids with odd number of chromosomes are basically sterile in nature means if the organisms are triploid pentaploid heptaploid they will be sterile the reason behind of their being st sterile is improper pairing of chromosomes at the meiosis synapses can take place only between two of the three homologous chromosome due to improper synapses improper gamete formation take place that lead to the sterility of the organism cell with even number of chromosomes undergo normal meiosis due to the proper synapses during meiosis colchicine it's an alkaloid extracted from the plant autumn crocus it basically disrupt the spindle fiber formation after the disruption of spindle fibers segregation of chromosomes will be prevented right cell treated with colchicine undergo synthesis phase they enter into the mitosis but they cannot exit through the phase due to disruption of spindle fibers right next is allopolyploidy Allo stands for different polyploidy once again more than two set of chromosome right now how this condition result the condition is formed by crossing different species and doubling of the chromosomes of the hybrid right so here are the examples of naturally occurring allo polyploid bread wheat bread wheat it's a naturally occurred all allo polyploid and a man made allo polyploid is raffino brassica so here raffinus sativum it is diploid in nature having 18 chromosomes and brassica oleracea is also diploid with 18 chromosome raffinus sativum it is radish brassica oleracea is cabbage right when you will cross these two varieties you will get a diploid organism and this diploid organism is basically sterile in nature you know 
raffinous sativum uh, the haploid of raffinous sativum will contain 9 chromosome and haploid of brassica oleracea will also contain 9 chromosome when they will form a hybrid these 9 chromosomes from both different varieties won't be able to form homologous chromosome and synapses will not be will not occur in the case of the hybrid so that's why the hybrid is sterile in the diploid state but after doubling of the chromosome it will become raffinobrassica that is tetraploid in nature and each chromosome will have its own homologous chromosome and there will occur proper meiosis formation sorry there will uh, proper synapses formation will take place during meiosis and that will lead to the formation of the organism which will be able to produce proper gametes the variety of raffinobrassica will not be sterile in nature like the diploid hybrid right so here once again radish that is diploid cabbage that is diploid they will form a sterile hybrid its spontaneous doubling will lead to a tetraploid raffinobrassica that is a plant which is able to produce its gamete that is a fertile plant raffinobrassica it's an allotetraploid also known as amphidiploid amphi means double diploid right means each chromosome has its own homologous these double diploid form proper chromosome pairing and synapse formation triticale it's widely used amphidiploid between wheat and rye amphidiploid means amphi means sorry amphi means double diploid means each chromosome will have its means the chromosomes from wheat and chromosome from rye each will have its own homologous chromosome that's why we call them amphidiploids i hope you understand my lecture thank you very much friends